Salford's Valmar 246 is known for accurate application of a variety of granular products, including fertilizer, granular herbicides, and a variety of seeds. Calibrating your machine is simple and ensures maximum accuracy, particularly when switching between products. Always refer to the operator's manual for complete instructions and machine operation. Start the calibration by determining the density of the product being applied. This can be done using a density scale or refer to the product sheet for the given granular product. Refer to the flow charts in the operator's manual to find the best match for product density and the desired application rate. You can also download the calibration section of the operator's manual by scanning the QR code on screen with your phone, as well as through the link provided in the description below. Once you've found your desired application rate based on product density, set the gearbox accordingly. Next, weigh an empty catch container. This weight will be subtracted from the amount metered during the calibration process. Install the calibration funnels and place containers under each funnel, which will be used to collect and weigh the product. Before starting the calibration, ensure that there is enough product in the hopper to perform the calibration. Ensure all hopper gates are fully open and all metering drive clutches are engaged. Next, remove the calibration crank from its storage position. Attach to the ground drive tire and turn clockwise until product is falling evenly across the entire width of all metering rollers. This ensures that the metering rollers are charged with product and will give an accurate measurement when the calibration is performed. Before performing the calibration, empty any product which was accumulated from charging the metering rollers. Once all catch containers are placed back underneath the calibration funnels, turn the calibration crank clockwise exactly 35 times. This represents one-fifth of an acre. Transfer all product into one container and weigh. Subtract the weight of the empty container and multiply the results by five. This represents the pounds per acre applied at the selected gearbox setting. Any difference between the calibration results and the flow charts in the manual may be the result of the following. Incorrect sprocket installation on the ground drive system, improper setting of the gearbox, change in the flow rate characteristic or the density of the product has changed, worn or damaged metering rollers, incorrect metering roller gap, or a mathematical error. Repeat the calibration, and if any difference still occurs after eliminating all possible causes, contact your software dealer for further assistance.